all that stuff applies to your smaller elementals too. You just don't get the big ability score bonuses. Right. Right. So all the abilities, but the specific yes, die strength, uh, yeah. natural armor that doesn't apply until you're actually the size. Right. Okay. Like you get the you get the move speed and the like everything on the top half you get. It's the stuff indicated in the point bullet points specific. Yeah, the, the bullet points are specific to the sizes. Okay, because this is, that's a good level for me. It is. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, what are you guys doing next? That's kind of the. the... We're bum rushing the pool. You're going so... to the bottom of Yggdrasil. <coughs> yeah, and yeah. I think step one to go into the bottom of Yig is here do we have the, the do we need game? everybody here because this is a real fucking like it's a clown train it's a circus <laughs> like yeah, you, you could leave your followers behind uh in stomach Glen for a while i'll take dinkinder like so we don't see need every, everyone's gonna now everyone everyone's gonna say yeah i'll take this one thing and then everyone takes one person and you have and there's there's 12 of us <laughs> right. fuck all right just leave everybody here be faster. It'll be faster with six guys. It's two teleports. All right, Oberon, don't it's, fuck it up. Oop. It's a lot. It's it's more than it's. If it's like question the first, are we bringing cohorts? No. Right. Question. No the cohorts. Second. No followers. Just us. Should be able to do this. So I, I'm I'm guessing you guys are taking about a month, then fifteen days, solve the euchre thing, sell some stuff, and then uh, and then. Uh, continuing on, right? Probably. I don't. I don't know if we're sitting down for any some sort of like big craft thing. We might learn some spells, but that's about it. I don't think there's a crafting montage in here. <laughs> montage. <laughs> okay. Maybe well, there might be some crafting, um, but uh, yeah. Well, why don't we figure that out? Why, it, it... Yeah. Uh, so the, I'm assuming our target's down here somewhere. Are you on the the Ferdigrin? Ferdigrin. Yeah, this this leads to there. This is the f third, fourth branch, third branch of Midgard. Oh, this is one branch. Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh. Then you go down a, a big ass tree and then end up at the roots. So if we jump here really hard, <laughs> I can take it. I could take twenty d six damage. <laughs> 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 Jump again, heal. So one fourth and one fifth. Um, I just feels like a very long overland journey, o overland. Right, and then you get to the you get to the trunk, and then you have to go down the trunk. Yep. Let me. You should so. big. <laughs> It's, a yeah, world. It, it's really not that big. I mean, there, uh, there might be a different way of going about it. Do they have a gate? They might know of a gate. Or a little pocket thing. That could be a different uh, way. Uh, jump down. You'd, you'd end up at some variable number of miles away from your intended location. That's really awesome right there. I like that. That's what Oberon comes up with. Let's, uh, I'm gonna go punch random gnomes in the face till one of them drops metal <laughs> <laughs> that we can use to craft it to a rod. <laughs> um, yeah, let's craft rods to Yig. And let's craft rods to... Yes, I, I want to... Everywhere. I, wanna, I, need, I need a rod for Yig. <coughs> Actually, uh, is there one here that I can buy? Uh, they're probably not sold, but uh, I, I think getting a getting a rod to a place is <laughs> is significant enough an encounter. We can we can do that after you guys finish your your downtime and stuff. Right. So but... I think it's rods because yeah. So we a have rod boss, to have boss just... guard. Right. One for Yig would be fantastic. Right. Five to and, five hundred miles away from your intended location, and then we're limited to eight creatures. Oh, I could do it. I could do that multiple times. Boop 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 boop. 
No, because so, you're 500 miles off each time. Yeah, and then <laughs> everybody's to, just scattered and then, around. And, and, and then I teleport. Where. And yeah, then to where? To, so jump and then teleport to. So jump, move everybody to a specific spot we know. Go to the other dimension, teleport to those guys, or other other. Then bring come to this and then teleport them. You could. So it's a, it's doable. It's doable. It's just it's very it's, unwieldy. Um, for more it than is. It's, people. It's yeah, a lot yeah. of spells. Okay. So I think I think that gives us our party size. Party size of eight. Party size of eight. Um, eight people. Eight creatures. Eight creatures. Six, <laughs> the six heroes hold on. and a horse. Including the caster? I believe so. Uh, eight willing creatures joining hands. Plans Caster's just. one of the eight. Does a horse have hands? Dope. Do you, do you know what's awesome? <laughs> so, uh, plane yeah. shift is an attack spell. Don't forget. You can send people away. <laughs> Fuck off, kid. You bother. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> hey, go to limbo. <laughs> oh, no. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's actually yeah. pretty good. <laughs> There might be a very uh, <laughs> interesting uh, wizard who would do this sort of thing. Just find places where they can't hurt anyone. That's where you put the bad people. You don't need to kill them. Right. Give them a chance to repent. <laughs> we'll we'll meet that wizard tomorrow, I think. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was Gel. No, Gel's no good. Down, Gel. <laughs> okay, so that's done. Yep. Uh, I think I'm done leveling. Okay, so 15 days, you handle the Euchre thing um, by teleporting to the gate. And then you yep. swim through the river and then teleport on the other the other side. Yes. That gets you to Diverg home. Uh, that's Oberon, Euchre, and, and Lokrik. Um so yeah, in three days or whatever, I'll I'll get to them. I'll teleport to them, and then we can come back. Go get Cairn. Yeah, get that. Get the, uh, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> Oberon. Get the unicorn. Then teleports everyone back to uh, the grotto. You move through the gate. I'm going to check to see if I lose my shiz. I'd like to know if I lost sure. my shiz. Sure, that's fine. I'd like to know. It's like I would like a. Days since incident. <laughs> okay. So I might they, they lock you up in a dark room in 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 uh, in Dvergh home. Um, I don't lose my shiz on the first day. Okay. I don't lose my shiz on the second day. I don't lose my shiz on the third day. You're cured. Wow. You don't need you don't need help. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no. so the third day, uh, I guess it's every morning he, he comes and <clears throat> checks on you. Well, you did well this time. Yes, I must say. You are certainly learning how to control the beast. I think I'm getting a hang of it. That is excellent it's news. It's still there. Next time we'll be able to just fail, fail, fail. Eyes everywhere. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ripping, ripping wizards and dwarves apart. <laughs> uh, good this, times. Is, this is wonderful news, <clears throat> says Oberon. We were able to sell some enough. things, but it will take us much longer. Mm. Uh, did we have uh, other piles being sold, or is it all caught up now? No, we, uh, we do have the we uh, your Castellan. Um, yes, he should be able to um, slowly sell off some of the goods. If we leave them here in Dvergholm. Yeah, do it. We should probably check on the Cropolis before returning. I'm not sure. I have a bad feeling. So do I. Ethilden knew everything that we knew. 
Well, as much as... Oberon stops himself from insulting in Zildin's intelligence. <clears throat> Maybe we should try to send to... Why don't we send to... Snake Lady? Yes. I don't think Oberon sends. Nope. Uh, it's a fifth level spell. He hasn't uh, learned that one yet. I will learn sending. Bef I will learn. I eventually learn sending because it's cool. Because when an alchemist does it, it's a standard action. <laughs> yep. You can use it like in combat. It'd be awesome. <laughs> Do you know who learned sending? As he As learned sending. sending. Who did you say? Azildan knows sending. Yeah, as he. I wonder why he hasn't tried to contact us. Mm. Maybe he's still changing. No, I know I the book said process complete, but it might take a while to wake up. I highly doubt that. I suspect Azildin's transformation was surprisingly quick. Not but a fortnight, they said, in the old texts about vampires turning. This would have been much quicker. Hmm. Let's at least let's check on Vos or uh, uh, Dragon uh, uh, Wormbine. Verm so, Wormbine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're gonna check on Runeshod? Yeah, you you go back. You Runeshod. touch your you touch yeah. your tokens. Uh, Runeshod seems to be happy and safe. Well, now <laughs> maybe he went after guy caught by dragon. What? We need to go to... We need to go there. Uh, Uker's now got a concerned look on his face. Okay. Go where? It's, it's been a good 20 days since you killed the dragon, plus the time yeah. since the battle. Yeah. Okay. Um, Lemio has the gems that we need to go into Featherstone. Didn't I say was, Lemmy was going to come and come after like four days after Uker's done? We have to wait for him to, after I was done, Lemmy's okay. supposed to show up because we so can't the, get back the, without there's him. A, there's a furtive few day wait <laughs> as the heroes uh, assemble. We'll say that there's all of you there. Yeah. Um, we'll just say all I of think, you are there. I, I think a tra priority one would be a quick <laughs> checkup on. Uh, the, like, yeah, the, the heart of the. Uh... Okay. Because. We need to check because if he got the ring of the gods, that would be most displeasing. Uh, I mean, yeah, 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 whatever, Medusa. That's not what I'm concerned with. Yeah, yeah, yeah Old Lurker's brother. Yeah, that would be really, really annoying if he. <laughs> all right, so you guys. Yeah. Our in rune shod Lemio meets you there. He brought all the heroes with you, like like low crit, like basically whatever you guys decide is the eight people that are going with you on your on your hopping and that sort of thing, which I'm assuming is the six of you plus the horse and maybe nobody else or the six of us plus the horse is seven. That means that we can have one other person that we could find along the way. Uh, if I was going to pick a cohort, I would take Fairy Lady because uh, Fairy Lady is. Uh, Healing. You have. Uh, okay, um, that, that's fair. Because she's kind of. We're down a cleric, and we replaced a cleric with a weirdo. <laughs> that's fine. Um, so there are some that are left behind in Stemma Glen, and then and then um, the paladin, the paladin's horse is probably a little more important than Dane Kinder, uh, or you could have Dane Kinder uh, instead of the fairy. Maybe. I think the paladin horse is what we need. Okay. Uh, so we'll say it's the fairy. Um, 
and uh, you guys find yourself in Runeshod, you use the teleportation circle to get to uh, Featherstone, you try to activate the gate to, to Acropolis, and the gate yep. doesn't open. There's no activity from the gate. Sending to the snake lady. That snake lady, what's her name? The snakes of the serpent. Mm -hmm. Okay, who's casting the sending, and what are you sending to um, um, to Petra? Petra Fira. Uh, no. She's, I don't know if we, we've never tried to be able to send to her. I don't know if we can. Snake lady. The, the, the flying it's the, it's the, feather the guardian, winged the snake guardian. Oh, Ixim is Kala. Oh, okay. Ixim is Kala. Yeah, That's yeah, the one. Ixim's, okay. yeah. Um, yeah, let's try to send her. Uh, Marty, is there by actually, sorry, um, tracking? Yes, anything been here? Go ahead, Iker. Do you sniff anything? I will, I will smell the trail I is old, 20 days old. Not much comes up here anyways. 22. There's nothing obvious. No. 35. I have to look at the survival skill. I think it's plus one per day. Hard ground. DC twenty. Every twenty four hours since it was made. DC forty. Maybe there was a large creature amongst them, so DC thirty nine. Fuck thirty eight. <laughs> okay, I'll give you this. <clears throat> Caught a one footprint. Okay. It was from a large creature that had almost like claw like talons for feet. Give me a knowledge planes. It's a fucking dragon, fucking demon we saw. Yeah, give me a sec. Seventeen. Is it that demon that we? Uh... Could be. You didn't never really got a good look at its feet, but maybe it's about the right size. And it wasn't a demon; it was a devil. Devil, I mean. The thing's not broken, Marty. No, it just didn't. It doesn't activate anymore. Stick magic. Um, there is magic uh, coming from the gate. Throw a stone through it. And the stone goes through the air and lands as you'd expect. Are the other gates um, whole again or not? No, they are, they're still um, physically destroyed. So there's no effect of the magic going off? Oberon is going to roll a spellcraft check. Uh, he's going yeah. to Did we change the password on this? There is no password. It's just items. The items are the password. It's blocked. It's hedged. From the other side. We're so activating something... it, but the magic isn't connecting. How do you unhedge? You get rid of the spell on the other side? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No way. I can't get spell rid of on this side. XMS. We'll send, let's do a sending. Because if it was that easy, then these people should have just been putting up, like, making magic that instead of other things. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like a first circle spell. <laughs> Forms Good. of movement that are blocked include um, gates and other things. It is the barrier to a specific spot. It uh, isn't that hard to do. They should have done that instead of big piles of stone. <laughs> well, it's an eighth circle spell. Well, it doesn't last forever. How long does it last? Days. Per level? Cost per level? On the An accomplished arch wizard could have this ward in place for half a month. Okay, so Marty said, "How long did this? How long ago did this go?" You're looking at it's somewhere between two, three weeks ago. So well, maybe, here's the oh, thing. Any, you know, well, it could be anything from yes, yeah, like anything from two guys, minutes ago to twenty days ago. You're forgetting something. The creature that cast this cast it from the other side, right? Yes. It's still on the other side. Yes. Or it so, plane shifted out. Or it used the song gate. All right, we'll do ascending. <sighs> I'll okay. do ascending to Ixum's Cala. All right. Uh, <clears throat> We'll type this out. Just go off the cuff. It's okay. All right. Um, <laughs> is that bad, huh? <laughs> uh, the gate is blocked. Are you dead, bitch? I can't get through. <laughs> Are you alive? <laughs> Fuck's going on. Okay. Silence. A minute goes by. Two minutes goes by. Uh, do you have another one? Three, five, ten. Exodus is likely dead. No, no sound. <sighs> Petra. Did Message they jump into the swimming pool to go? <laughs> Sending to Petra. Okay, this one I want you to type out. Uh, hey, Paladin, you know that flying mount snake thing you liked? Well, we need a restoration, resurrection thingy. <laughs> so, sending to Petra. Um, gate is blocked. We can't enter. Gate is blocked. We can't enter. Um, Iximus not responding. Um, as he converted to evil. So Giz blocked, we can't enter. Eximus not responding. As he converted to evil. Can you paste this somewhere? So I can see it. 13, I have 12 more. Um, Vargon involved. Where are you? We're kind of in a uh, a dick punching contest. He punches, yeah. we punch him in the dick. He punches us in the dick, and then we punch yeah. him in the dick, and then he punches us in the dick. Who's we're that? gonna keep uh, Vargon and us. We're just gonna keep finding things that they don't want messed up and messing them up <laughs> on each other. We're just gonna keep <laughs> breaking each other's toys. <laughs> Possibly. Well, good thing is he wasn't too smart. Memory wasn't too good. High most of the time. <laughs> he perceived everything, but he... <laughs> I have three more words. Eat a D. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, so you message uh, to 
Petrofira, if you recall, it's on is Twitch. the um, uh, is the trapped greater Medusa slash minor godling somewhere between that range that is trapped in a, uh, a petrified form um, as she was kicked out by the rest of her Gorgon sisters for turning people back into flesh after being turned to stone. So go ahead and read. Go ahead and read this. Archer, gate is blocked. We can't enter. Exum is not responding. Ozzy converted to evil. Vargon involved. Where are you? Who is there? Okay. Um, I'm just going to open up a, a quick sheet here to type my reply before I say it back to you. Don't be a bitch. Just do it online. <laughs> <laughs> you assholes! <laughs> oh fuck! Why did you leave? Why, sorry, why did you leave the party? Fuck you! The only real oh. way to know for sure is to nuke the walking house from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. You gotta bust that shit open. I'm saying we can do it too. I mean that the AC for that thing is pretty high. I get it, but we can do it. We get all the alchemists in the world. I go to my I go to my world. And we get every alchemist. We get every single one who's learned sonic bomb or force bomb or any other stupid Twinkie bomb, and we have them all come together and drop a bomb. Everybody drops one bomb on the house. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, just get rid of the superfluous words because she's smart. So I can fit in a few other thoughts. Uh... <laughs> Assholes. Da, 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 oh, okay. <laughs> There's a bit of that. Uh, there's a roiling anger that you're getting from her. Bring me back my daughter, you bastards. Because <laughs> the snake thing was her daughter. You! You failed me! <laughs> Ashimanax has Acropolis! Now he has access to Library of Forgotten! I am in his horde on Crucible! Fix this now! How the fuck did he get through that shit? Because Vargon opened the gate and negotiated. Vargon opened the gate and said, I will trade you. <laughs> and now there's a now there's a charismatic little fat vampire gnome or pathling or whatever. <laughs> Aze. Come save me, Aze. Yep. Uh who, who where is this? No, this is this is, this is a memory. This is this is me reminding Ahmed. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> hey Aze's, man, Mar Aze's, Mark didn't act on it. Mark did not act on Aze's any of this. cohort is with Azzy now. Azzy, why are you looking at me funny? Oh shit! Are you certain stopped. you're feeling well? You've got kind of pale. I. Oh, you're coming oh, at me with your I'm mouth. I'm ticklish, Azzy. Stop it. No, no, <laughs> Azzy, no. <laughs> he had all the information that Azzy needed in order to get into Shimranax's realm. And he just bargained. Here, take this. This has got to be important. I trade you that for this. Thanks. See you around, Big Red. <laughs> Okay, so uh, next on the to-do list is find a way to burn a fire dragon to death. <laughs> look, we look, look at the dragon that we took on. I think we can fuck this guy up bad. That dragon didn't have a fear aura. Do you know what I'm afraid of? A fear aura makes sense. You got a paladin. <laughs> 
<laughs> Although we are going to just destroy. Uh, so what we need is actually a rod to crucible. Hey, uh, hey guys, Abba Moon, Ed with the three one around, yeah. Edward. <laughs> Fuck, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Damning realization. Damn. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. They're on, they're, my players were under a little bit of stress tonight. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. Started off weird. bad, went well, it was really cool, and now it's kind of shitty again. No, 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 oh. this is good. So uh, we're going to go to the bottom, we're going to go to the Part pool. Part of good is this. We're going to go to the pool, Have we're going to get a rod, and the rod is going to go to Acropolis, and we're, not Acropolis, we're going to get a rod to um, Crucible. Crucible. Shit, you broke him, Marty. He's we're fucking broken. <laughs> Getting a rod to Crucible. We're not using this. We're going from, to fix it from the other end. From where? From you've got the tree of Yig. We asked the Oracle where to find a goddamn rod to Crucible is. We asked the Oberon where the rod to Crucible is. Oberon, where's the rod to Crucible? So we get a Oberon, rod to, where's the rod to Crucible? We read a, get a yeah, rod to you're, Crucible. You're pretty sure that uh, yeah, Oberon says if anyone would have a rod or a way back to my home, it would either be the dwarves or the elves. So we get rod the crucible, and then All we right. get there and we solve the problem with the gate from that side. Uh, how long? Uh, are you king now, Lokrik? No, not yet. Oh shit! When is that happening? Uh, give me a second. <laughs> well, shit, my coordination. Because <laughs> you know, you know what we need, right? The fucking rod, <laughs> the crucible. Uh, he will That's be hilarious. coronated on the twenty-sixth of Hawthorne. How far is that shit away? Uh, it might have already happened. Give me a second. <laughs> I don't think so. No, you're on the second of Hawthorne. Oh wait, second of Hawthorne. Fifteen days of training is seventeenth. Um, this is about the time. Plus Uker's uh, Uker's time. So yeah, on the twenty sixth he becomes king. So he becomes king, and he's like, "Could we get a rod to Crucible?" Perhaps, we, we should, uh, perhaps we should plan our next move on the twenty after the twenty sixth. I have duties to attend to in Dvorkholm. There will be uh, at least a week of celebrations and becoming apprised of the situations that have been saved from my young years. Uh, does Oberon do you have skill to make rod? I require enough metal from Crucible, but I'm sure the dwarves have catalogued whatever it is that come came from their holy land. We'll find a rod, one way or another. Actually, I think that's a really good game for us to do next, is Lokrik's uh, uh, coronation. Lokrik's coronation. Lokrik's coronation. And I would Fucking, definitely uh, like to. Source. We will we will take every pot and pan that was brought from Crucible. <laughs> Melt that shit down. Melt it into a rod. <laughs> All right, someone put some kind of magic. <laughs> Fuck I anything. will definitely try. There we go. And um, then, if not, we should find the way back to where my people are from. And your Not people crucible, were... but to Mithloros. Mithloros. I have a feeling it will be very strange on your world. And many people will be very... Um... You know when there's too many nobles and not enough uh, men? It will be like that. In a land of... Land of women? I'm not sure what you're <laughs> insinuating. But I assure you, we would be received well. Hmm. As long as you behave. Oh, they'll be receiving all right. <laughs> 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 all right. Would they receive a king from another country originating from Crucible? Yes, of course. I'm sure the Colonel would love to meet a king such as you. Uh, the corn is a great druid, you know. 
Uker was going to say he promised not to break anything, and they decided it's best not to make promises you can't keep. So, <laughs> um, actually, so he actually, just kind of stands awkwardly. Speaking, you reminded me of something. Was there any time to learn any special spells? There's like five uh, days. There's no, there isn't. Okay, finishing of of training leads you to this uh, to the seventeenth. Mm-hmm. Um, then there's another ten nine days. Nine days. Yeah. Before we're at, at yeah, yeah, uh, the the coronation. So you've yeah. got nine days of downtime. Okay, which I guess we'll plan that out during the week. Yep. Um. Okay, treasure, 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 treasure. Yeah, I think, I'm, I think, I'm not I gonna think, pick. I think this is a good. We can probably kill the stream. Yeah. Uh, so, sorry, stream. You're fucking fired. <laughs> we've we, we, we've awesome, been we, the highs and the lows are at the point where Papa needs to swear. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> um. So that's some crazy shit. Yeah. The plot. Moves <laughs> you forward, failed right? me. Well, Fuck. Hmm? The plot Stop. moves forward. Right. I, I send Petra again. Calm your shit. We're coming over. <laughs> Calm your titties. Wow. Don't tell her we're coming. Don't tell her that. Cats, 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 cats. cats. Tell her cats, cats, cats. <laughs> Calm your titties. Cats, 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 cats. Ah, your, your, your terminology hurts. All right. Uh... <laughs> I think this is a good place to to end it. Somehow we lost John, which which really sucks. Uh, he didn't even respond to my text. So. Uh... Uh... The um, this morning I didn't tell this story, but it was or it was Friday morning. There was this stupid ass cat in the middle of the deck, standing right by the sliding door. Yep. That it was like you know a foot and a half from the door. And it was a big domestic fat, cat. Was it out like an outdoor cat or someone's it, cat? It, it was somebody's cat. They it was a, it the was, cat. So the I my German Shepherd. You know, 65 pounds. My Bernie Doodle, eh, pushing 70 pounds. Are at the door, losing their goddamn minds, trying to figure out why there's an orange pillow that's just sitting in the middle of the deck. You open the window and they're above. spinning around and, bah, 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 bah. and I'm like, oh god. And I just had like neighbors move in beside me. Um, and I'm like. Oh, I don't want to kill their cat. I don't want to just like open the doors and it just gets at right. Like, I don't want to have that conversation with his doors and just like a like a handful of fur. Uh, so I'm like, okay, I I call me to me and I make her calm and she's there and she's like, I, I got her by the collar and she's looking at her going, brr, 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 and she's like, <laughs> you know, just just let me get it. <laughs> and we send like Leia out the Bernie Doodle, and this cat. Stands its ground. The birdie doodle sort of comes forward. The cat just sort of stands there, puffs its chest out, makes a little like a kind of thing. And then the, the my my birdie doodle is like, and it was the end of the story. Oh, it's the boss! And it like you start smelling and then sort of like rolling over. I'm like, what the fuck is this? This cat is my birdie doodle is such a wuss. Oh my lord! <laughs> so I'm like, the Jessica's like, get it off the deck. And I'm like, okay, fine. I let go of me. <laughs> And this dog, this cat's like, yeah, I'm the boss. See, this dog is my bitch. And then German <laughs> Shepherd's coming, and then she does this like, sort of arching back up and takes a swipe. The, the, then she like, it's like, you know, just the moment before impact, she's like, oh shit, it's not stopping. <laughs> <laughs> this cat jumped like eight feet in the air and like four feet sideways <laughs> and twisted through like a chunk of the fence. May hit the fence full on. <laughs> Leah went around. Oh, and the thing ran out of the drive was the most hilarious thing. And I'm like, hey, well, if you're not turn to Jessica, cat's gone. <laughs> cat's gone. <laughs> well, it was just one of those things where it's like I have. There is no way that I was I was reasonable. I told the cat to fuck off. The cat didn't fuck off. Leah told the cat to fuck off. The cat didn't fuck off. Right? Fine. I'm sending the German Shepherd. <laughs> the cat speaks German. <laughs> the cat spoke German. <laughs> the cat now knows. The yeah, cat now knows. Cool. Hasn't been back in the yard. So, uh, Your dog yeah. goes, this is my yard, y'all. This is Blitzkrieg! 
That's good. It, it was the jump because I was like, oh, it's not because it like it chose to try to stand its ground. It's not going to get out of the. Oh, look at that. That's it's like you know it looks like a Gary's mod cool. in Half Life for you know. So we had a, we had a good <laughs> half game. Uh, DM's running out of steam because uh, I've got like the cold of negative levels and it's it's just sucking my energy. We lost one of our players to internet trouble. Uh, apparently phone trouble too. Yeah, right. Uh, but we'll um, uh, uh, and, and, I, and Mark is out. So I think this is a good place to end it. Um, they yeah. had their, their climactic fight. They're doing some downtime. Um, they got some XP. They're trying to figure out what the hell to do next, as some of their enemies from past uh, games and sessions have um, uh, taken an important place away from them. Um, and we'll we'll get to the aftermath of that on thirty episode thirty four of Legends, uh. which will be next Saturday. Tomorrow, um, uh, we're going to start... Did you anyone in prison in Acropolis? <laughs> we Wasn't your cousin? Yeah. No. Lokirk's cousin is there. Oh. Or was there. I bet he's not oh. there anymore. I mean, oh. as he, although as he, he might think that... So here's the thing. He might have left him there because as he thought he was innocent. As he thought in his truest soul that he was an innocent good guy. He was a good guy. Right. So he might have left him there because he was a good guy. Yeah, he lied. He did nothing to wrong. He lied to Azzy. <laughs> or oh, he's cool. spreading mythic vampirism. Oh, fucking hell! <laughs> I think we should have killed him right away. All right. Sorry. Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> do, you, do you know what handy spell Azzy has as a cleric? Stone shape. Do you know what handy spell Azzy has as a travel cleric? All Teleport. the teleports. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah. There was a reason why Azzy wasn't hitting the party hard uh, right after uh, right after he died or became a vampire. He was off busy doing other things. Um, We're gonna have every single fairy with one of those little arrow catchers just dropping them in the next fight. Which is, you just throw these arrow catcher things. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, you you build those those one those one shot arrow uh, block items. Just, uh, it's not a, it's it's not a terrible idea. Um, you throw out the bag of fairies, and each fairy has one, and they drop it. <laughs> it's not a terrible idea. <laughs> it's a bit dirty, but it's not a terrible idea. Uh, that okay, guy so, can so, kill so one tomorrow, of us in one tomorrow. Round. Yeah, like all the enemies basically are all kind of teaming up because they all know about each other, and there's this common thread of a fallen, a fallen PC. No, my uh, my uh, betrothed apparently is uh, still on Team Uker. Oh yes. Yeah, she's she may yeah. be watching you. She may be the one that's just. I'm pretty certain she was one that was scrying, and she's like, oh, I wonder if that's a little far to get. Blood and milk for the baby. <laughs> baby. Uh. See, what else? Uh, Uka was actually thinking about just throwing the body into the river so it would just sort of flow down to. <laughs> but she's already got that version of Lenorm. Yeah, she's already so got Lenorm. So uh, Tega probably... Lenorm. So she wants some other, some other kind of kind of dragon. She's already got the electrical juice. Um, okay. Uh, well, red dragon. Uh, that's what's getting. It's on the menu next. <laughs> yeah, so you took on big ass tough beast with good breath weapon. I don't think you've yeah. taken on any archmage kind of. No, yeah, you've, you've tangled one. You've tangled with one archmage and he kicked your ass. Yeah. Like, although he, his house was. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. If we prep and not play like assholes, I think we'd do a number on him. <laughs> Well, you, you guys need to get your third tier Loop in a mythic group. sounds pretty good. Third um, tier mythic yeah. will be useful. Third tier. Having, having king in front of Lokrik's name. I, I like the idea of the back door. Don't go through yeah. the front gate. Go. Don't go through the front gate. Of course no. We're going we're gonna to shift there and we're going to sneak up on the thing. And we're going to punch him so hard. Axe to the face, <laughs> bitch! Man. <laughs> No, nothing to the face. Always from behind the face. <laughs> you know, we should talk to All right, the. So tomorrow, part. tomorrow, let's let's talk. Let's talk about five minutes for tomorrow. So tomorrow, we oh, decided. Yeah. Uh, we we'd been build. We one of the things that we do is we build character concepts and characters for other campaigns for our cohorts, 
and we seem to collect this really like really interesting group of characters. So um, uh, some of us have some extra free time. So in addition to our regular Saturday games, we're going to run a game called uh, Demon Watch. I'm going to borrow from the uh, Wrath of the Righteous uh, uh, adventure path that Paizo put out, which is effectively mythic creatures fighting demons. Uh, a little bit more than that, but... Um, and I'm going to place that within the same universe as the current Legends campaign. Might be in a different world, but they may start to hear about uh, similar enemies and sim similar problems throughout the, uh, the the chain of worlds that are out there. So we built some uh, low-level, uh, super uh, uh, neat uh, mythic characters that we'll, we'll, we'll start playing tomorrow. So we'll do this as a side campaign. In addition to the other little side thing that we've got going called uh, Iron Arcana, uh, but this one is Demon Watch, and we will uh, we will try that out probably tomorrow around 1 p.m. PT. Uh, we'll do our session zero. We've already built our characters. Um, we'll try to dive into the action early. Yeah, uh, there's probably an hour of setup uh, as we talk about the game world and our characters, and then I've got some encounters that introduce the characters to the world and uh, into things around them and get them uh, get them into trouble. Um, so it should be fun. Um, um, this so these guys are still our true gestalt. Yep. Same yep. as this, and they're mythic. Third they, level. They, they, have, they have not achieved their mythic rank yet. No, How no, they, but they're they're yeah they're supposed to be. They have mythic potential. We'll say. Yeah. And uh, the idea is we go and yep. hunt. And, and I'll borrow heavily from the AP. Uh, I'll do what I normally do and uh, and grab the things that I want uh, from the AP and uh, uh, um, kind of leave out the other stuff. Um, and then kind of wrap it underneath the veil of, uh, of this campaign setting that is our homebrew. So yeah, so we'll play some game tomorrow. Um, I hope to see you guys there. If not, you can catch us on YouTube at diedragondie.com. There are all of our links to our social uh, social sites are there. Uh, and I will upload uh, the last couple of games probably throughout this week. So cool. That ends uh, tonight's session. Die Dragon Good Die presents game. Legends campaign. Yeah, it was uh, Good game. The fight was awesome, and then some of the stuff that happened after the fight was really cool. The stuff about Diddy. we thought we were gonna die in the fight, like yeah, half uh, of us. I, I thought you guys half were of die. us were gonna die. <clears throat> I don't know how the fuck we made it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm surprised we didn't use a breath of life, and that's because we used hero points, which are basically breath of lives. Right, hero points yeah. and an amazing initiative to break the economy of action. Of uh, yeah, but there was a lot of meta magic going on and meta powers. So. Pretty cool. All mm -hmm. right, guys. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, good night. Thanks. Peace. Thank you guys. Good night, guys.